Previously on Sanctuary. Wexford fired death charges at Bertha. Ah! She responded by creating a massive tidal wave. Yes, try and contact Callie again. Callie will appear to a former host one final time. At the gates to the spirit realm. Spirit realm. As in... I'm afraid so. In order to talk to Callie... <laughs> you have to die. I came to ask for your help. You wish me to stop the waves. Fire the damn missiles! So that's a civilian ship. Do it! Now, target Bertha. movement on the scanner do you have a visual yet dude well, it's just so not time for a key break <laughs> henry henry contact henry watch <laughs> was totally avoidable. avoid this forever. It'll only get worse. You sure I can't get you anything for the pain? I want to know your plan. What makes you think I have one? Magnus, the rumors I'm hearing from the other houses are far from good. And he was on the mission list because... Henry, please, not now. I sleep on a stakeout. No heads up on the salamander. Declan's broken arm. Oh, it's occupational hazard. Turned out all right in the end, didn't it? Arm. Yes, I know he's not been himself lately, but that doesn't mean we condemn him. Uh, Doc, I'm not mad. I just want to know what's going on. It's been like two weeks of this. Henry, Mumbai was... It was a lot for anyone. I thought after a few weeks, putting him back in mission mode would help him refocus. Yeah, work like a charm. The man was taken host by an abnormal spider. Died and came back from the other side. Come on, he's more than earned a bit of leeway. I know, it's just, it's getting worse. His temper's all over the place. He's not sleeping. He's not talking to me or Kate. Big guy stop smacking him in the head. I know. What do we do? Be patient. But don't treat him with kid gloves. Makes him crazy. Okay, done. Anything for the guy. He's off the mission list, right? I'll talk to him. Thank you. How do you like the new Magnus Slinger? The weapon, yes. The name? Yeah, well, it's a work in progress. I'll email you options. Thank you. Magnus. Will's not the only one off the mission list. He'll be all right in a few weeks. 
There are issues we need to address. I'm fully aware of the situation, Declan, and I appreciate your concern. What if you lose? You're back in charge, but only by a thread. People think we simply got lucky. Do you think this is the first time I've made unpopular decisions? The threat Forsyth posed has been eliminated. Bertha's alive and in containment. I think we're fine. I disagree. Yeah, you showed up Wexford for the tosser he is, but he didn't act alone. He had support. Which evaporated when he became unstable. Yeah, some would say the same about you. I just mean your next move's important. Currying political favor? I'd rather drink coffee. Besides, there's a far more pressing question that needs answering. The counter wave off Pakistan. Three land-based earthquakes, each perfectly timed to stop a massive tidal surge from hitting the Pakistani coast. Zero abnormal activity on any scans, millions of lives saved, no explanation. It wasn't Bertha, but it was something equally as powerful, maybe more so. In the meantime, conference call tomorrow? I'll be on my best behavior. Promise. Kate. You're in or out? As if I had a bloody choice. I need money. Uh, how much and what for? A lot, but for a good cause. I got a line on an ex-cabal spook who was really high up on their operations before we took him down. And he knows something about the Pakistani counterweight? Not exactly. But he claims to know of an abnormal that could have caused it. But he won't talk unless we pay him. With a stamps tonight full of cash. Oh. Part of the whole new post-cabal economy. A whole lot of info on the market if you know where to shop. Fine. So we're talking the Cayman's account or the one in Geneva? Neither. Oh, the private bank in Malta, excellent choice. Oh, come on. You're surprised I know where all your money is? No, only that it's all still accounted for. <laughs> um, by the way, you are taking him off the mission list, right? Right? Hmm. I recall Joe DiMaggio describing the game to me once. Hmm. He must have left this bit out. Jolt and Joe, huh? I'm just trying to figure out how the hell I became a liability here. You and me both. <laughs> Gee, thanks. No, I'm sorry. I meant me. Politics. Right. Wexford and the Unbelievers. <laughs> hey, it's a good name for a band. Well... No. I don't remember anything. And believe me, if I thought I could make up some cool crap that might help you defend yourself, I would. As it stands, I'm a lot of ideas. I was going to say, we'll figure this out. You're this cutting edge, famous doctor who works with monsters. You've run every test known to science on me. CAT scans, blood work, MRIs, hell, <laughs> sentient leeches. You got nothing. You're suffering post-traumatic stress. I know what I'm suffering. I'm the guy who sits across from people who suffer from it. You were clinically dead. We've no idea what that does to the mind. You stop sleeping? You wish you'd never come back. <sighs> and don't say give it time. <laughs> because we've already had that chat to classic. We both know something happened to you after you died. Something profound. So a giant spider stopped a tidal wave. I know it's meant to be connected. I just don't know if I had anything to do with it or not. All right. How about this? You shouldn't even be alive right now. <laughs> Your resurrection should have been impossible. Enduring torture, losing the Macri, flatlining. <laughs> What's a little light death between friends? We'll find out what all this means. I promise you. Put him off the mission list? I'm sorry, Will. Don't be. I'm surprised it took you this long. Look, about last night, I don't know... You need rest. That's funny. Ha ha. No, I mean it. I know you hate taking meds. But no more excuses. Sleeping off some voltage. You should wake up sometime next week. 
Good. Good. Yeah. That net thing. It's awesome. Worked great. Oh, come on. All right, I screwed up. I screwed up totally tonight. Ah, ah, you're fine. Forget it. Will you stop it? Stop it with the nice. Come on, where's the complaining? Where's the grief? Biggie, where's the slap in the head? What am I, someone else? Dude, you, you kind of you, you rose from the dead. Even around here, that's out there. I did it. You would help. Chilean shepherd frog secretions. Yeah. I just need to sleep. Yeah. yeah. Try that. Yeah. We put some of the big guys' special herbs into your food. Didn't make a dent. <laughs> well, um, that that explains the stomach cramps and the uh whoa. Yeah, it's worth a shot. Anyway, won't happen again because I'm off the mission list. Effective tonight. Oh. Hey, Ace. It's just a slump. You'll get it back. No idea you were coming. Seriously, I couldn't sense anything. I know. What in the sweet Sidney Crosby's going on? Most sedatives are designed to be overridden by adrenaline. Whatever happened to you had to have been quite intense in order for you to remain alert. Whoa, whatever happened? 
I'm not thinking that. He's insane. He's exhausted. Nothing on the security cameras, no signs of intruders, no evidence that anyone, anything, was in my room. Look, the brain slips badly with no rest. Hallucinations, paranoia... Delusions, trouble with logical reasoning, insane. It was a nightmare. We've been through a lot. So I died. How long am I going to use that crutch? And you know, it's a terrible pickup line. I want to remember Magnus. I get these images, these flashes, but this... Was different. I could feel everything. It was so real. I'm keeping you under observation. No more pills. You need something stronger. And someone will be with you the entire time, just in case. So, are we financially ruined? With your net worth, we'll limp along for about another 300 years. This was worth it. So, counterwave earthquakes originated on land, correct? Yeah, they had to, in order to blunt the wave that was headed towards Pakistan. Satellite tracking confirms the epicenter's here, near the Iranian border. Okay. I know I don't pay attention in class, but Bertha is a sea-dwelling creature only, right? A land-based earthquake isn't her MO? Absolutely not. And this could be huge. 2005, Indonesia. Big hush-hush cabal operation goes down. The bad guys are tracking an unidentified abnormal in the underground caves near Kartasuro. They get a fix. They move in. Next thing you know... Boom! Instant stratovolcano. No seismic warnings. 400 cabal agents vaporized. The entire area is a disaster zone. Yes, Merapi. The volcano is considered extinct. Which means whatever they were tracking set it off. Possibly. I've heard the rumors. I thought the Cabal were testing a weapon. Well, maybe they were trying to capture something, and it didn't like it. And I'm thinking, whatever did this, maybe it's somehow connected to Bertha. In that whole woo-woo theory you have. And then Wexford bombs her island. And Mystery Monster jumps in, launches the perfect earthquake to stop the final wave, saves the day. It's a start, but we need more. For proof that this other creature actually exists. You got it. So the Copenhagen account? Uh, I'm just saying, you have these these huge, hairy hands, and yet you assist Magnus in these sensitive medical procedures. And? Wait, it's never been a problem? <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> That's funny. No, no, wait, wait. Just give me a second here. What, are you gonna hit the gym? What is that? It's called Twilight. <laughs> what do you think of those movies? I like Marcus. Relax. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> I'll stay with you until you wake up. Yeah? I promise. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I feel like I'm ten years old. Well, to me, you are. All right. Call the airstrike. It's done. So what are you going to do? I brought a book. <laughs> nice. So how long do you think it'll take before... Sweet dreams. Cleanup operations are continuing in Mumbai and several other coastal areas hit by the first wave. As far as Bertha is concerned, the security protocols we've put in place are now running at optimal levels. The magnetic resonance pattern we're coating her with is keeping her in a permanent state of calm. She's happy. All tests of the new system show no floral weaknesses. Since the death of the Macri, there have been no other reports of aberrant behavior among any abnormals worldwide. We believe Bertha is now fully secure. I believe there's a far more pressing matter that we need to address regarding your continuing role as the head of the Global Sanctuary Network. Terence, please, if you're planning another coup, could you do it when I'm not on the call? So now you're speaking for everyone. Mate, I'd say you had more to answer for than she does. I doubt that. All we did was dodge a bullet by letting Bertha remain alive. Bullet? Well, you obnoxious piece of... I am beyond sick of this gamesmanship. Gregory Magnus founded this organization to help abnormals, to protect them, to understand them. 
My father taught me that we have more to learn by protecting life, all life, than by simply destroying it. That's why I kept Bertha alive. And that's why we need to discover the power behind the Karachi counterwave. You did act independently. And you did lie to us about keeping Bertha alive. But you also took complete responsibility for your actions. You almost gave your life to save hers. As you once said, it's what happens after a crisis that matters. There's been a vote. We wish you to remain as head of the global network. The vote was unanimous. With all due respect, I was not part of that vote. It was reserved for heads of house only. Your position as head of the New York Sanctuary has been rescinded. Excuse me? Also, a unanimous decision. You fired on an unarmed civilian ship with the full knowledge there were people on board. You failed to alert international authorities and gave no regard to the danger faced by Sanctuary crews. Very well. I trust this puts this issue at rest, as there are far more pressing matters at hand. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Ella. Cheeky bastard! <laughs> Guess my work here is done. Catacombs were finding these creatures, and I want all of Henry's tracking devices modified to compensate for their cloaking ability. You think they're still here somewhere? I'm sure of it. Whatever they came here for, we interrupted them. 
Okay, new rule. No eggs before bed. The dreams are way too crazy. I'm sorry I doubted you. Yeah, well, at least I slept through the whole thing. Oh, Twilight, by the way, is fabulous. Well, whoever, whatever they are, they targeted you specifically. Yeah, you said they put something in my head? Yeah, I've never seen anything like it. And their ability to cloak themselves, it's almost as if they can bend light around them. None of our security systems can detect them. Thermal, motion, scans, sound waves, nothing picks them up. You think it's a special ability they have or some sort of technology? I don't even know what kind of abnormal they are. Well, glad we're overflowing with information. Hello? What? Can you feel that? Your finger in my ear? Two incisions. Very small. I think there's holes in my skull? Amazing. No residual sensation. Their device must be a microscopic probe of some sort. Probe? For what? Interesting. Would have been accessible from here, but still, it hardly makes sense. Magnus, probing for what? Your memories. <sighs> Come on. You get that from two holes in my skull. The incisions are centered here, at the base of the hippocampus, center of the brain that controls... Memories, right, I get it. So the device is about retrieving information. Which would explain why they didn't kill you outright. Who are these guys? To be honest, I'm more interested in what they're after, and why. This movement scanner is useless. All I get are messed up signals. Yeah, same. You really can't sense them? Well, they're still around. I just can't narrow it down. It's like they're everywhere. The smelling's an imperfect science. At least for me. So what? They skunk out the place so no one could track their scent. You can't detect them with sound or movement. I'm thinking thing one and thing two might be a lot like you and the big guy. They got built-in early warning senses. So they can sense us, but we can't sense them. Yeah. What do you say we change the rules of the game? Come on. It's all about overload with these guys. They admit the smell. Just, once it gets in your nose, it just drives you crazy. But I can't smell anything. Can you guys? It makes my eyes water. Oh, yeah, so bad right now I couldn't track a pastrami sandwich in a deli at lunch hour. Okay, so your noses are useless. None of our tracking systems work. We compensate for it how? Modified chromatographic scanner, typically used to detect chemical weapons traces. Now, I've altered the sensors to detect the densest concentration of Ode Invisible Fugly. It's a bit of a trial and error with the calibration. It's sort of like tuning a guitar with your nose. Which looks good on a resume. All right. Coordinated search. Stay in radio contact. Bring them back unharmed. But you're dying for a rematch? Understatement. Secondary power cables. Why would they do that? Why not mess with the main grid? Maybe they need to recharge something. It's crafty. Movement. Give me a target. Eleven o'clock. Ah, oh, damn it. Those suckers are fast. feet away.
I love being the bait. He's out cold. And the crowd goes wild. Three words, please. Well done, Henry. <laughs> we got him? Yeah. But what have we got? Incredible reflective qualities which they seem to be able to manipulate at will, much like a chameleon. Coincidences are piling up too thick around here. The Macri birth of the counterwave, now this. I'm sure there's a connection, but we just don't have all the facts. Whatever memories these guys are after must be from when I, you know. Kick the bucket? Bought the farm? Crossed over? Are you finished? Pushed up daisies? It would also explain your extreme amnesia. Repressed memories trying to surface would wreak havoc with the conscious mind, wouldn't they? Hey, I've tried everything. Meditation, hypnosis, even drug therapy, which I hate. Whatever happened to me on the other side isn't that easy to recall. Well, maybe it's nothing. Maybe it's a bunch of psycho mama jumbo from your imagination. Psychologist. The memories will come when they're ready, if at all. What if it's something important? What if it's something that can help you prove what started the counterwave or Bertha's connectedness? I'm just saying, if my subconscious won't let me sleep, it's got to be big. Oh, cool. 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 This is very, very cool. Please stop saying that. All right. I just can't believe this thing does what we think it does. Who comes up with a design this simple? I know. It's light years ahead of any technology I've ever seen. Really? From these guys. Do you think maybe they're uh, not of this earth? Don't be ridiculous. Yeah. They're abnormals. Get a grip. Cool device. Chameleon people. Never mind. Can you make it work? We stumble onto a super advanced alien mind probe, and you want a rush job. I'm still looking for the on switch, Will. I'm going to prepare the lab. Stop fawning over it and figure it out. Alien mind probe. It could happen. command no control interface and somehow they're able to juice it using a standard ac cable from our basement i fucked with it it zaps me i think it's cute that's great he likes you oh come on hank be the genius you said it was simple right maybe you're just overthinking it try treating it nicer i've tried nice i've tried power surges i've tried radio waves sonics air pressure i just want to turn the damn thing on oh Whoa. Whoa. That's awesome.
self-destruct? Isn't that a little defeatist? Well, my guess is once they realized they've been compromised, they saw no other option. Which means all we have left is this. Now, once it activated, I was able to understand its primary functions. This is an amazingly intuitive design. It actually seeks out brain waves of a certain frequency. It can deliberately key in on EEG readings associated with deep memory. What for? Well, at its highest level, it would erase them by essentially overloading the brain with a massive jolt of electricity. Ah. Uh, however, uh, I have managed to drastically reduce the energy output. We think its other function is to stimulate the hippocampus in a positive manner, to retrieve memories trapped within the subconscious. Are you sure about this? I mean, didn't you just learn how it works like 20 minutes ago? Yes, but I think I have it down now. You think? He thinks. And I dropped it. Oh. But it's fine. It's fine. You don't have to do this, Will. Seriously? Hmm? Look, we need answers. Let's do it. Save her life. My world depends on her survival. Why have you come here? To beg Callie for mercy. Those who harm Callie harm us all. There would be retribution were her life to end. I am Callie's herald. I seek only to protect her. You allowed your physical form to die. You've sacrificed all. We will grant your request. Such destruction will serve no purpose. We will restore the balance. Thank you. Thank you. Two numbers. 26, 34, plus this symbol. And that's it? I woke up in Mumbai right after that. You said there was another being that spoke to you. Uh, is something about granting your request. Yeah, uh, but when Callie was hurt, one of the others said he would help. Something about uh, the destruction having no purpose. The final wave. If there was an avatar for Callie, couldn't there be one for another powerful abnormal as well? Yeah, yeah, like the one that blew the cap off the dormant volcano. Exactly. Callie falls, another super abnormal steps in, stops the wave before it makes landfall. This all fits with the timeline of events. 2634. And that symbol. 
りなんだ。Gifts from my father. This one, for my twenty-sixth birthday, and wild guess, a gift for your thirty-fourth birthday. Exactly. And here it is, a rare first edition of Michelangelo's architectural designs. Okay, it's a paperweight in a book. I'm not seeing it. Yeah. I never met your dad, but is he always as cryptic? Yes. Last time we saw him was about a year ago. Before that, a couple of decades. Why make contact now? I mean, wouldn't even know he was still alive. Until... Well, maybe he's not. I mean, you did see him over there. There has to be a connection. My father never gave me a gift without significance. He believed in the ancient power of crystals, and that Michelangelo had somehow tapped into an incredibly advanced mathematical formula. Hello, darling. This is a power and technology beyond anything we've ever known. Do you think it exists? If it does, we have to find it, wherever it is. <laughs> Thank you, Father.